Today I'm going to build a marble track here that attaches here and rolls the marbles into the gear. This is the first time I've ever brushed steel and I'm a little bit in love with the brushed look right now. Wow. See how that feels. I made the holes in this plate oversized so you can adjust the position later. You can find your perfect position. So you want it there and it will never move ever. So they seem stuck, but I'm gonna grind this away to really know the truth. Whoa, this is fun. This is fun. Take a look at this. After some grinding, you can't tell where the joint is. Yes, I can weld. I can weld this fantastic feeling.
Oh, uh, not bad. First marble to ever roll on the tracks. Well, that's just perfect. Hailstorm, first time I'm welding. I need now to make a curve that goes out on the side of the gear like that. So the distance here between the two steel rods is exactly 12 millimeter. So I'm using 12 millimeter plywood to constantly check that I'm I have the right spacing. That was too much. So I'm gonna connect this support rod. Too far. Yeah, I broke the main piece. Mm. That one was okay, but nothing to call home about. Ah, it's okay. So right. Right after there, a little bump towards the magnets and then out again, okay. Okay, let's try that. So, with a lot of speed. Ah. So, that works, but... I have a suspicion because when the music stops, so the the wheel is still, but there is still marble. So then we have this situation. This will not work. So one marble fell off, and two marbles are hanging outside, as you can see. So we need to avoid the situation where two marbles can be next to each other like this. So I have this idea of adding a plywood piece here up, because that's not magnetic, so the marbles will come away from the magnetic metal rod and to throw the marbles straight into the groove like that with a plywood piece. So, non-magnetic transition. Wait, what's this? Plywood countersink. Well, this can work. Wilson. What? Did you make this, Wilson? This is great. So the transition is from plywood and you used countersink M5 screws. And the metal rod comes here. Oh, I can try this. Thank you. So that's really good actually. Because with the plywood we can make any shape we want. And the M5 screws, that could really...
Okay, let's test this. This seems to work pretty good, but now to the real test. What's going to happen is that this wheel stops like this. There's going to be more marbles in the machine coming down after the music has stopped. So this will happen. As you can see now, this is constructed in a way that no marbles can be next to each other. So the music is now stopped and now it starts again. That really works. You can even reverse the process. And this is actually the way we're gonna scrape the marbles up on the top of the gear. That's pretty neat. Am I happy with this second version? No. <laughs> oh, I want to make a better one. I'm gonna explain why. I think the design of the Marble Machine X is going to be a lot about contrasts. The plywood is contrasting the square tubing in such a nice way. I don't like this piece to intervene with the wheel shapes. I want plywood colored wheel and I want the things that sticks into the shape of the wheel to be of a contrasting color. So I'm thinking I can make a 3D printed version that will also follow this curve. So the plywood in this case is only curved in one direction. But with a 3D printed piece, we can curve it like that and then curve it also with this curve. So it will be more stable in its performance and it will look better. Talking about contrast, you see that this spoke is a little bit red. That's because we managed to hit a glue layer. And we're gonna take advantage of the material property of this birch plywood. So we're gonna make this operation again, but slightly more. So we're reaching this nice reddish of all these embellishments and on all these spokes. So that has no function, that's purely design, but design is important. So this is the second version and I'm gonna make a 3D printed version of this, but that's for another video. So one more go. Oh, by the way, I just realized something. We had a lot of comments about magnetization of the marbles that after the marbles going around on the, on the strong neodymium magnets here, they're gonna get magnetized. And um, I was like, mm, it's not a lot. I didn't think that was gonna be a problem. It is a problem. <laughs> so all of you who have been saying that you were right. What happens is that on these steel tracks, the marbles get sticky and they don't roll. So these two marbles are a little bit magnetized. If I take these same marbles and just hit them in the ground. Now I put them in the same place after hitting them in the ground. They roll. That's just because the magnetization goes away after vibrations. So far, I don't know if it's... I don't know how much I have to worry still because either we can make the tracks have a deeper slope, like a steeper angle of the tracks, then the magnetization won't matter or the marbles are gonna be demagnetized when they're playing on the instruments or they're gonna be demagnetized in the fish that are further up in the construction so that was a little bit of a shame because I love the design of the steel tracks and I'm not giving up on them right yet but all of you who were worrying for that you were right so that's it okay thanks for watching bye